In this video I'm going to share some uh, troubleshooting techniques with uh, Spectrum Internet and this will be from uh, my experiences uh, just in case uh, you had some issues like this uh, maybe maybe it'll help you but here's the deal when when your internet uh, goes down it's not working of course the first thing the first thing you want to do is call uh, your service provider and in my case I'm using uh, Spectrum formerly Time Warner Cable I have also uh, phone service with them and uh, and TV Okay, so that I have the, uh, the whole package with them. And typically, when the internet's not working, the signal's not coming through. Uh, first thing I do is, is call the 800 number, and it's all uh, it's all computerized at first. Uh, so they'll ask you for your phone associated with the account you want to know about, and then you tell them what's wrong, and uh, it'll tell you. The, uh, the computer will tell you if there's a uh, outage in your area. If there is, then you just gotta wait. Uh, but there were several situations where I would call and they would say there's no outage in your area. So uh, I didn't want to talk to anybody because I knew they were going to do the uh, troubleshooting and I pretty much knew how to do it. Okay, So what I would do is uh, disconnect the uh, power from the, uh, from the modem. And the easiest way for me to do it was just to unplug it from the back of the modem and then uh, if you have phone service then you again disconnect that uh, phone line to your modem and then if you have a router the next thing you do is again disconnect the power or turn the power off to the to the router wait about 10 minutes or so and then uh, plug everything in uh, you should wait till the uh, lights in your uh, modem all come on before you put your before you power on your router and in my case I have four lights the main ones of course are power light and you power your online and then the phone and there's another one that's uh, also on there so a total of four lights and they should all be on okay shouldn't be blinking but there's four of them and generally generally that would work okay uh, but there was a period here uh, the last few weeks where I had to be resetting the darn thing uh, several times and uh, I would call in and there was uh, no outage okay eventually it would come back and then I said well what else can I do so I went ahead and just uh, unscrewed the uh, coaxial cable that provides the signal to your to your modem modem which in turn goes to your router uh, I cleaned it out real good and uh, screwed it back on and then, and then when you have to be careful because it's kind of slippery so you want you want to just hand tight you don't want to put a wrench to it but uh, if it's loose that's what's going to happen your internet is not you're, you'll be watching a uh, Netflix over there and in, in my room I use uh, I don't use the box the cable box uh, so uh, the, uh, the rest of the family can be watching the regular TV on the on the uh, with use the cable box and I'm using the Roku device which uses the internet so if the internet is uh, not working then of course I can't uh, I can't view my Netflix and so forth but uh, on this particular occasion I went ahead like I said and uh, unplugged everything but I also took the coaxial cable again provides the uh, signal to the to the modem and uh, cleaned it out real good make sure that that little wire that's in the middle was uh, long enough to connect and then I went ahead and hand tightened the thing okay and then it, it started to work so I was working uh, about 20 minutes later I noticed that the only two two lights were on so the cable was on the uh, internet was on again so I went ahead and tighten it more just hand tight but as much as I could and that did the trick okay so haven't had any issues with the internet for several days where it used to be like every other day I might have to mess with it and I, and I think what happened in time with having all the resetting that I did and uh, moving the box and so forth it maybe loosened that cable because I, I would never mess with the cable I figured well the cables 
I would kind of just touch it a little bit to make sure it wasn't loose, but evidently uh, it wasn't tight enough. Okay, so uh, made sure that it was, and that, that was a little trick. Okay, so the, the main thing to this video is that if you're having issues with the internet, okay, you do the, you do the regular troubleshooting, it doesn't mention the cable, but I would suggest that the first thing you want to do after you've reset it is again go back there and make sure that that cable is tight again hand tight as much as you can do not put a wrench to it and i hope if you're having that issue that that helps you and uh, we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching